Welcome everyone to the Plains in Jordan-Hare Stadium, home of the Auburn Tigers, where telling someone War Eagle is just as common as saying hello. A top 25 showdown coming up, two of college football's premier teams preparing to duke it out right here on this field. As we'll see, the number 16 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on the 12th ranked team in the land, the Auburn Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Sooners will get us started with the opening kickoff. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Tigers' offense will start this game off. And they're led out there by a man who will carry the ball plenty in this one, guys. Well, it's real simple. He's the best player on their team. They have got to force feed this guy the football, David. No doubt about it. The offense goes through him. Excited to see how they've built this offense and how many different ways they can get him touches. Well, jet sweep pass. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand. Safety's got to see that start flying down. Get him. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. And you're seeing the pass rush on the second play of the drive. They dial it up. Look at the speed and athleticism this defense has as they corral the quarterback for a loss. And, guys, this third and long is not exactly how they drew it up. Hopefully it's not an indication of what we'll see the rest of the game. Got his man! Well, he was putting up big numbers coming into this one. He knew the quarterback was going to go his way early and often. With that last catch, he's now got over 500 yards receiving on the year. The Tigers getting set on first and ten. Looking for a crease. It's Hunter. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Love seeing these early season top 25 matchups. You can get a really good feel of how good these teams are, guys. And the intensity is going to be big, too, David. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. They were trying to set up the screen. Instead, what they got was their quarterback putting paper and plastic in sack. But how about the speed on defense with that rush, getting to the QB so quickly? You're not expecting to get home on a screenplay like that, but, man, the old saying, speed kills, and you saw it right there. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters, and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. So the Oklahoma Sooners offense will try to get something started with their first possession. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking him up in this matchup, David. Yeah, and it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got a showdown. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that at cornerback that could do that in a game like this, but this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count, it messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. And the Sooners moving quickly to the line. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going and handing the ball. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. And after that short completion, what will they do now? Just a few inches to go. Yeah, and you wanted to get the ball out quick, and you wanted your receiver to make the play for you and get the first down. You don't now. Decision time, fourth and short. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. 
Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. How many ways can I give to my guys who can fly, who are playmakers, and let them make big plays? This is another one you've seen. Catch the football, flip it ahead really quickly, get it to a burner, going full speed across the formation. He gets the edge, makes the big play. And it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the deep shot for the end zone. And it won't make the connection going for the big play. And listen, as a quarterback, you're trying to find the matchup, trying to find who's open. I don't know if anybody was open, but that was not a greatly thrown football. I don't know if it was miscommunication, but the ball thrown out of bounds, and just on to the next down. After the misfire, it's second and ten. Here we go. They're going to throw it again. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Great job, too, by the QB there. Holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guy so that he can go get the first down. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. He's looking downfield to throw. And he intercepts it. Got room on the return. Ripping through the defense. He's at the 40, the 20, the 10. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Number nine. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. Righty up to add another. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. That last pick six after a drive like that, David can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards, but didn't. He's got it down the left side. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. That last big play has them in position to threaten here, first and 10 from the 37. Back to throw, it's Thorne. Quickly complete. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter. On the screen, loss of one. On the double. Brings up second down. 
We reached a quarter break with Oklahoma on top. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. And that's not the way they drew it up. It's incomplete. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Working the middle. Just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting this punch. He locked up and held on to bring him down. A nice job by the defense. A draw is kind of a trick, you know, get you to run upfield, but they sniffed it out, did a great job, stopped the play for no gain. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Burton. That completion takes him down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to make a game of it. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. The linebacker comes free, doing and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. They're setting up the screen. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. The line of scrimmage, the two, and these final two yards might be the toughest here on third down. They're going to run it. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger! And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground. Put it in the end zone. He'll try to tack on one more. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Ole Miss needs to pick up the pace, but this puppy is far from over. And with this crowd there in Oxford behind them, I'm kind of banking on a comeback. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Kentucky. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. The Sooners want to move quickly. On the run, it's Ocha. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bit of defense in back? Throwing his face in the fan. I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. The Sooners will line up to punt it away. Able to get the first one of the day away. They did have to send him out three times in that victory last week. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on your side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can follow. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times 
it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. On the run, it's Thorne. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. Get it out on the screen. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. A third and long coming up here. The snap sets up the throw. They'll run the screen. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That was just a perfectly choreographed screen. The line got out on time. The running back had a wall in front of him. And I think the quarterback did a really good job of selling pass and then kind of dodging the pass rush, getting it to the running back, and then let him do the rest. You got him in space, he'll pick up yards in a hurry. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. He wants to throw here on second down. Had it in his hands for the score and let it fall in the turf. It'll be third down now. Oh, the offense just not able to come up with that. You knew that was going to be a bang-bang play, right? They're taking a shot into the end zone. That's going to have to meet a contested catch on the back end. But he wasn't able to come up with it because of the hit. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. It's complete to the left. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. So that's a 60-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here come the Sooners, ready to go on offense. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conserved. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Dropping back, it's Arnold. Finds his back in the middle. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. Catch in the middle, it's Roberts. We got a timeout here late in the first half and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And the Sooners have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. On second down, just keeps firing. And they're not on the same page there. 
And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football game. Trying to get to it. Chunk it away just as he was hit. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls in. A fairly short distance here toward the sideline. Not his best work. One more snap coming before halftime. Wants to throw on first down. Quick strike complete. Still on his feet at the 45. Got a lot of running room. Boy, he almost finished this half with a bang, and are they lucky to get him stopped? They're, they're eager to head to that dressing room right now. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there on the plains. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Pat Dye Field in Jordan-Hare. this third quarter with a run. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. The Sooners will hustle to the line. Hand off from the shotgun. Nice move to keep running. In his sophomore season, he's really learned to find that running room. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And they finally get their first sack of the day, and one of the things coaches point to every week, how many times are you affecting the quarterback? Last week, they got three sacks. They got to continue to put more and more pressure on the quarterback to play better defense. After the big first down sack, it's second down. Trying play action. He's going to let it go. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. CD and DD, Broyles and Clayton, the Sooners always have guys on the outside that can make big plays like that. Reese, I just want to be an Oklahoma OC. Everybody wants to be an Oklahoma OC because you got playmakers, you got quarterbacks, you got everything at your disposal every year. And when you have receivers on the outside that can go get it, go deep, make big plays, that's just fun. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. All right, so now you're in this third down situation close to the goal line, and it just feels, David, like they're going to have to throw the football in order to score a touchdown here. I like maybe trying to get the quarterback outside on the perimeter. Touchdown Sooners! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. 
Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Florida Atlantic is trailing right now, and I know it may look bleak, but this team needs to regroup, remind itself it's at home, and remember just how quickly things can change. They're trailing by 11 to the Pandas. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. The give to the running back from the shotgun. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. The receiver was doubled, and they picked it off. Takes it the other way. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. As a quarterback, you've got to give your receiver an opportunity to make the play. You've got to put the ball in his body. That throw gets away a little bit from the QB, and that leads to the tip and the interception. He'll keep it himself. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. He'll pull it on the read. Oh, he dropped it! How in the world did the offense retain possession? Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise backing this defense on third down. back it's Arnold got it set up on the outside he's run out of bounds but a big play on that one and it'll be a first down and the Sooners come to the line with a fresh set of downs got it behind the line it's Anthony and he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there they ran it on first down now on second we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it towards the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And that's a great sign for this offense because this year we know there's been a little bit of inconsistency. And I think the biggest problem has been third down. Right there, nice job executing, running the ball, picking up the first and keeping this drive alive. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out. They'll try to pound their way in. And we'll cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! One-step wrap, two-step squeeze. See what you hit, hit what you see, bring your feet. Yeah, none of that happened. Yeah, those are all great things to keep in mind, but you're also trying to tackle another grown man against his will and get him on the ground. And by the way, he wasn't happy. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the move from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. 
The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Palmer, and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. A huge opportunity, guys, for this offense to take over after the fumble recovery and start first and goal. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown sooner. How efficient have they been as they extend this lead here in week five? That is exactly what most offenses will do. Big momentum play. My defense creates a turnover. I'm being aggressive. I'm going for the big score, the big play down the field. They get rewarded. They get the big passing touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? Uh, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Pressure coming. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. You want to talk about aggressive or nuts? This offense is staying on the field inside their own 30. And it's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been on par. Touchdown, Oklahoma! What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. Yeah, how about that, man? Fourth down, trying to go make a play, get this offense going, get it sparked, get some points on the board, and that couldn't have gone any worse. They throw the pick, and not only that, they return it all the way back for six. That offense just shot themselves right in the foot. On the run from inside his own five. Guided out of bounds at the 32 after a good return. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency has got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. They, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Thorne. Fires to the right. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. Okay. Maybe right. this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. He wants it all. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He'll just keep slinging it. Setting up the screen. 
And that completion will take him inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. Screen pass just not working here. And you figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be a blitz, but... Quarterback feeling the pressure, and down he goes at the 22. And you could easily argue the biggest reason this team is trailing here in the second half is because they have not been able to protect their quarterback tonight. They've already given up five sack... Touchdown, over. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Let's see. He can block. He can catch. He can run. Yeah, let's just forget about the blocking for now. The catching, the running, the scoring is dangerous. And they do the dirty work, but this is what they would prefer to do. These guys want to catch touchdown passes. Most of these guys were wide receivers in high school, and they show you why. They'll go up, get that football, make plays for the quarterback. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he's coming out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Snagged in the middle. It's Burks. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. They've got a first and ten at the 34. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. And I think they'll give him two on that with second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. And with a lead like they have here in the fourth quarter, no question this offense is going to continue trying to pound the rock. They're going to run the football and try to ice this game. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead. You want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Quarterback on the keeper. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Quick timeout call by the defense stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He nails it. A 58-yard field goal. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Top 15 teams colliding today in a huge matchup, and it's now a final. Alabama was able to come away with the victory, but it was not the type of dominant win we've seen over the years. Roll Tide, sure, but this one lacked any real style points. We'll see a lot of games this week, but few will have as much of an impact on the new Top 25 poll next week as this one, gentlemen. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. And it's knocked away. Downfield, the DB getting a hand in there. And 
this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Throws for the tight end. And it's knocked away. They'll give up the ball, failing to convert on fourth. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. And with the game all but decided, this quarterback will take a knee. You're going to hear guys after this game say, got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to be that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm for this team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now freak out and try to reinvent things on either side of the football. Just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game, I think, would go over. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What, what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take away these negative plays. Let's take away these turnovers. How do we create more turnovers? I think that rhythm you're talking about, Jesse, finding those things that I do well, building on them, and doing more of them. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.